And this equation right here was built with Equation Editor. That's a separate application within the Microsoft Office suite. Um, so it may be something that you forgot to install. Sometimes it comes under extra packages. Uh, one way to access it is through the Insert menu. You can just choose Insert and Object. And Microsoft Equation will appear in this list. If it doesn't, then Equation Editor is not installed on your computer. You need your install disk. And it'll take it a minute here but it's going to do object linking and embedding, OLE, which can sometimes be a dangerous thing if you don't understand what's going on. The box on the screen here is, is a shadow of the reality here. So this is Equation Editor. And let me move this right here. Do not switch back to Excel and do anything with this box, because it belongs to this Equation Editor. The way this works is there's a template here. You can do superscripts and subscripts and fractions and parentheses and Greek letters. It's just loaded with mathematical symbols and just formulation. So I'm going to start with a fraction and type E and tab and M and hit the right arrow and say equals. And I want another fraction symbol. Oh, what was that? 8 times V and then hit tab. And on the bottom, I'm going to do B squared, hit the right arrow, and I'm going to do a D squared. And, you know, I can insert alphas and betas, hit the right arrow, oh, throw in a pi, I can throw in an integral with limits, you know, you can just go on and on forever. When you're done, simply, oh, I should show you something else. Up here in style, if you want to type normal text with spaces, etc., just choose text. And things like size and form, there's just different options here. When you're done, simply close Equation Editor. And again, it'll take it a couple moments. And it pastes it into Excel for you. If you need to edit the equation, you can just simply double click on it and it'll go back into Equation Editor and you can edit it there. And this one has a border around it, unlike this, so I can just turn off the border by formatting the object, the colors in line, and set it to no line. These equations, by the way, can be pasted into PowerPoint, into Microsoft Word, just right within your paragraphs. The only way to get an equation on a plot, though, is to first put it on a sheet, copy it from there, and then on the plot, paste it onto the plot. And like all other graphics, only size it from the corner so that you keep the proportions. If you size it this way, you destroy the text. So only size graphics from the corners. That's very, very important. So that's Equation Editor uh, in a nutshell. Goodbye.